Early morning here in South Africa, the birds are chirping away. And where are we now? It's the 1st of August. In South Africa, we officially celebrate spring on September 1st. It gives me fond memories going back to school because in Afrikaans we call it Lentedag. It's a big thing, you know. That day you go through your parents' garden and you pluck flowers left and right to your mom's devastation when she comes out and she sees what you've done to her proteas and to all her beautiful little flowers and my precious. So it's exciting times, but I mean, that's still a month away. We are here at August 1st and the day before, and actually the day before that, Brizzy 2.0 was officially announced. And this is not an in-depth video because actually a lot of these things we have covered recently in some of the tutorials here on Learn Brizzy with JP. So what is going on here? Why is Brizzy even announcing a 2.0? I am not impressed by numbers anymore because once you get used to things like Adobe Cloud and regular updates and incremental releases, you realize one version to the next isn't that phenomenal anymore like it used to be five, ten years ago, where you had to actually go and buy a physical CD-ROM. And it was a huge, major upgrade. I prefer the monthly upgrades, even weekly. So, you know, with this new update comes a lot of new features. But personally, I, I would love to get just one new feature per week. That, that was my personal preference. And I also would argue that's a better way of maybe managing bugs. But for, to each their own, like I always say, there may be reasons why big releases like this still come out. And we still see that for many other page builders as well. With 2.0, the big changes come to Brizzy Builder. And you will see here the logo has Builder under it because with Brizzy, we've got two platforms at the moment. One is for WordPress, if you prefer building sites in WordPress and you need WordPress plugins. And the other one is for Brizzy Cloud, which is also a content management system, a CMS. It's just a different platform, but it essentially does the same and still a lot of development for the future, bringing in blogging and as well, e-commerce, but far in the future, okay? Not tomorrow, not next week. I, I'm thinking 2021, 2022. Be patient, young one. Now, all the Padawans here, let's talk then about what does Brizzy 2.0 entail. The builder is that thing that builds out the page with backgrounds, images, videos, columns, rows. That is the builder. And this 2.0 essentially is about that builder and it brings in quite a number of big features that makes it again one amazing update and just shows that Brizzy has a different way of doing things. Global block conditions which we still will cover here. Brizzy sync and you can actually go and have a look the video that I just posted yesterday is all about how the blocks and layouts are synced. Now the global block conditions the purpose of the global global block conditions the purpose is, even though conditions are, is to allow you to assign a header to your site with one click across your site. Now, I want to warn you, there is a catch here because it's phenomenal that you have this ability right within the builder. You don't need to go out and create templates and create all kinds of weird instructions for it. You can just, like this GIF shows, do it from the header element make it a global block and then assign a condition. But in the video to come, I will show you there is a few snags. I don't want to say snag. There's a few things that you have to be aware of when doing this, because, for example, with a footer, it doesn't know it has to go at the end of the page. So those are still things that I think could be developed to give, especially to the footer element, a specific location on the page, which would make it better to assign. But this is really cool. This And when it is implemented like it is, I'm actually thinking, huh, how come this couldn't have been done a year or two ago? This will sort the issue for both cloud and WordPress plugins when you work with Brizzy Pro. This is not going to be a feature in Brizzy Free. Now with Brizzy Sync, you now have the option to save your layouts, the entire layout page, which is great because you can save the page. And if you are going to use the same template, then you just get that one and you can use it across your installations because you save it to Brizzy Cloud, you create it in WordPress or in cloud. Let's say you create it in WordPress, then you save it 
and then you go to the sync area, it syncs to cloud. And if you want to use it in on any cloud page or any other WordPress page, you just link that account to your cloud account again, and it syncs. This is the video that I put out yesterday. You can go check Mega Menu Builder. You've seen this, it's also available here. And yeah, I would just say, um, all I can say here is amazing how intuitive this is the Brizzy way. I always want to caution people. This is a problem coming to a product with your expectations or an expectation from a mega menu that you got from your favorite theme or from another page builder. If you have, like, for example, if you've been using Jet Mega Menu from, from Crocoblock for Elementor and you understand how that works and now you come over to Brizzy, that is the most common phenomena I see when people ask me, can it do this? And when they ask me that, I can immediately see where they come from. They did it in another product, they got used to it, and they want to apply it within Brizzy. And I always say you have to start with a clean slate when you work with new products. Otherwise, you're going to be frustrated. You're going to spend a lot of time trying to do that. And actually, in the coffee time this week, at the end, I also mentioned this is the challenge I have at this moment as I'm learning Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher is I'm trying to force Adobe concepts onto Affinity. And in the end, I'm the loser because it just doesn't work that way. So take that with a little bit of consideration when you come into things like Mega Menu Builder. Don't try and bring what you know about mega menus into this. Come and have a look what it does. Go check the video out here on Learn Brizzy and you will see what it can do for you. And please go and test it out as well. And then if you run into a snag here or there, adjust, right? New Lottie element, you've seen that. We have a video on that as well. New for that, new table element, brilliant element, really, really cool element. And then working in draft. If this was, I think, particularly important for Brizzy Cloud. But this feature is also available now in Brizzy WordPress. And this is really cool. Save and clear, same thing. I'm very happy about the clear layout because as I'm testing things, I often need to just clear out the entire page. Again, something I think that should be very simple to do, right? I would have expected it two years ago. I'm very happy that it is there now. And then again, the save entire page Within WordPress, you can get a plugin to do that, to duplicate a post or a page for you. But this was very important for Brizzy Cloud because if you have a page and you just want to use the same format as a template for another page, you can do that now, you can save it. Absolute and fixed positions and this one, we did a video on this for the beta version when it was still in beta and I screwed up with this one. I, I showed how to do it, but it's actually far simpler. And I think, let me quickly go into cloud. Go for Brizzy Cloud. Just to show you exactly what you can do with this. And when Dimi pointed that out to me, it's like, wow, okay, this thing is actually pretty cool. Now, where you're going to use absolute and fixed position is particularly if you have maybe things like overlapping images and you want to achieve that. Let's just grab this one over here and you click on the element. It doesn't have to be an image. It can be any element. Then you go to your settings, more settings, and you will see if the position is over here. You have the choice between absolute and fixed, and I'll do a full video still on these two, but I'm going to go for absolute. And what I did is I looked at all the features over here and let me just reduce that a little bit so we can see it better. You have the width here, which is going to show you the size of the image, and then horizontal, where you're going to place it horizontally and vertically. So let me show you the width like this. Okay, so you increase the width. Got that? Horizontal, this is how you move it around, and vertical, this is how you move it around. Major mistake. Don't waste your time doing that. Click on it, and you will see the handles. Again, you can just resize it. So no need for you to go and worry about that. Next thing is you can drag it. Right. So if you want to have it there and what's going to be cool, I'm going to hit control D, command D on my keyboard. I just duplicated it. So click on it and look at that. So I can now easily go ahead and create overlapping images. And then even as I click on it, I can resize it. Ooh, la la. JP is a happy boy, mama. So that's absolute and uh, fixed positioning.
I didn't expect that Brizzy is yet a click and interactive way of working. So when Dimi pointed this out to me, really, really, really awesome. Just don't overdo it. And I'll just also say here, this is the kind of thing that when you go into tablet mode, you'll have to just make sure that it plays okay. I'm not a big fan too much of this because it gets a little bit like this, totally crazy when you go to responsive displays. But there are moments when you just want a little bit of overlay. And naturally, when you have this kind of overlay, you just need to also apply a little bit of a shadow. This one will be very good. Okay. So big feature actually within this update for version two that you have the absolute and fixed positioning. Then the fixed pixel size for images, big feature people had been calling out for a long time. Click on the image and if you go here, yep, to settings, we have the width and the height. Now let's bring in just quickly the same one. Talk about that. Normally the width of an image is determined by its column. This is how Brizzy worked always. So as I reshape this column, the width will reshape. And that means that if you click here on settings and you look at the percentage of the width, it's at 100%. If you reduce it, it shrinks in a ratio of this to the column's width. So it doesn't matter what the percentage is set there. As I increase the column, that's going to increase. With pixels, you are setting the specific pixels that you want there. And if I grab the column now and I drag it, it will remain the same because it's set to a fixed pixel width. The column will have no impact on it. This, I think many people will be very excited about. Two years ago or even a year ago, I would have said, yes, I need this. But the strange thing has happened because I've been using Brizzy for so long this way by dragging it with the columns. I'm now so used to it. So this is actually a big adjustment for me to think, huh? how do I do it now? I know that I set the column and from the column, I can change the percentage over here and then I just align it. So it's, it's a great add on feature, but it is just something that I have gotten used to that I'm, I'm not that serious over that pixel for the images anymore. So it's something that I will have to revert back and get used to it again. Active color state for applicable elements, especially if you are working with the header element in pro you, the menu element in pro, you have this active color now. So when you are on a specific page, that page will have a different color. You can set it. And I have already basically done something in the above line and below line video that you can check out last week or the week before. Very similar. This active states are also applied now to accordion, switch tabs, gallery, and menu. Really good. I like the accordion, the switch, and the gallery. These things work nice. Tabs, tabs still have a lot of work to be done to it. The color switching here doesn't work yet very well. I've tested it when it was in beta, still testing it. With tabs, mm -mm, color is not there yet. Check the video to come. So what's coming next? A lot of new things coming next, and you can go and have a look here. But I think at this moment in celebration of Brazil WordPress 2, and what I did is I clicked here on the roadmap. This is taking us into the WordPress. So I had a look here the other day. So how this roadmap work, and you shouldn't get too excited, is that when people give new suggestions, the team will put it here. And once they think, okay, this is something we can do, they assign it to one of these categories like styles, responsive, and here is parallax on mobile, which is a big feature. And I'm waiting <laughs> for, for graphic design to say something about that one. Okay, so that's how it works. But what you would be interested in if you want to know what's going on is you have to look here on the in progress. What is being done here? Now there's still white labeling. Maybe, maybe there's still some things that need to be done there, but there's been a lot that had been done on the white labeling. And then here done, you can see the mega menu element is here under done. So what we see here, and I think there's a few things that were interesting to me here. The developer API, which many people have been asking for, A-B testing, some people, WPML compatibility, global everything. This is an interesting one. What does it say? It says nothing, global everything. Maybe it's like a safe function. And this is the one that I'm very, very interested in 
responsive breakpoint. Mm, this looks very interesting. Dynamic content WooCommerce. So it's basically a WooCommerce builder. Um, link internal pages. Okay, yeah. Um, dynamic content improved. And this is what's currently in progress. So if you ha want to have an idea of what's going on, you can go and check here. But like I said, if you've been long enough with Brizzy, don't get attached to this. Because if I go back here, uh, it says here, uh, we are initially thought as cloud uh, stories and funnels, things that will be coming. Oh, this changed. After that, we have imported developments in the pipeline, like WooCommerce Builder, and also some features that were initially thought as cloud exclusive stories and funnels that will probably come to Brizzy WordPress Pro as well. Hmm. But the next update is a big design update for pre-made layouts and landing pages. So for people who are looking for those pre-designs, that will be the next big update. So that is kind of an overview of what's going and what has happened with Brizzy, why we are at version 2.0. And for those of you interested, if you go back to our Brizzy.io, those lifetime licenses for Brizzy are dropping. And it was a thousand. And I saw the other day it was 400. And somebody made a joke on Facebook when it hit 404. And if we're currently, where are we product now? Pro version. You're going to see that there are how many left? Hey, go away. 393. Stay tuned then here on Learn Brizzy with JP as I will be rolling out tutorials on all these new features and I'll show you a lot of those how-to things that isn't necessarily that obvious always in any program. And then we have our coffee time maybe once every week or once every two weeks just to talk about and look at other things that you may have missed within Brizzy. With Brizzy version 2, this channel also hits then two years old. Very strange history, more stranger than Brizzy by itself. How this channel came into life and something that just was a test for myself became an actual channel. And how I've been drawn into this world and became part of an entire new group and family, which I am extremely grateful for, especially constructive feedback and the support. That is really, really welcome. Thank you for that. Thank you for keeping me motivated. And let's keep it going so that this can just get better and better. Have a great weekend and stay safe.